Joe Biden and Bernie Sanders were the big winners among the Democratic presidential candidates on Super Tuesday. Biden claimed victories in 10 of the 14 states that voted. San Sanders won three states, and he's ahead in the counting, still underway in California. Elizabeth Warren is now said to be reevaluating her campaign. And this morning, Mike Bloomberg dropped out and endorsed Biden. This campaign I will send Donald Trump packing. This campaign is taking off. Join us. Congresswoman Tulsi Gabbard is technically still in the race, but she only won one delegate yesterday, making it essentially impossible for her to get enough to win the nomination. Well, with the race narrowing to the front runners, Biden and Sanders, the focus is shifting to the upcoming primaries, including Pennsylvania. So what role will voters here play in the election? Political editor John Delano takes a look. Forget Super Tuesday. It's the later primaries that will pick the Democratic winner. Pennsylvania is going to be just as important. While Joe Biden did very well, the actual delegate lead that he has is not that, that big. And this race is still going to go on for some time now. Democratic strategist Mike Mickus, who's not working for any presidential candidate, says this nomination will still be up for grabs by our April primary. This race will go on for quite some time and will still be hot and heavy by the time you get to Pennsylvania. Democrats will almost certainly get to choose between Sanders and Biden. And even if Biden is ahead in delegates... Certainly, Senator Sanders shows no signs of getting out anytime soon. He didn't in 2016. There's no reason to think he will in 2020. Political scientist Chris Bono says this state is a must-win for Biden. Pennsylvania would be important in that if Joe Biden doesn't do well here um, and doesn't, you know, rack up some significant delegates, it, it could put his nomination in jeopardy. Mike Bloomberg's exit from the race and surprise endorsement of Biden is key. When we went by his Pittsburgh office that was just opened this past weekend, the door was locked. The campaign said there's nothing official on the future of that office. All right, so John, when was the last time Pennsylvania did play a role in determining a presidential candidate? Well, surprisingly, Christine, it was just four years ago. Hillary Clinton uh, faced Bernie Sanders, and then again 12 years ago when it was Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton, and both times Clinton won. Yeah. So to play even more of a role, we could move our, our primary up. California used to be in June, now it's March. What about PA moving up in the calendar? Well, you know, Ken, the state Senate has just done that. They voted to move it to the third Tuesday in March, but there's opposition in the House because it means political campaigns would start over Christmas. Mm. Uh -huh. All right. All right. Hey, a lot of developments. Thank you.